Hey everyone, welcome to a special Halloween episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And while we're not into scary Halloween celebrations, we did think it would be fun to dress up in costumes today. So today, I'm Mary Poppins and he's Bert. Precisely. Except, where's your umbrella at, Mary? I think it's in my bag. Hold on. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. You haven't seen my chimney sweep stick around, have you? As a matter of fact, I think it's in here too. How precocious. As Mary Poppins would say herself, anything can happen if you let it. Oh, brother. Hey, where are you heading? I'm going to go fly a kite. Hold on. Huh? Here you go. Thanks. Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with my lovely assistant and wonderful nanny, Sadie Poppins. Hello. And today, we're going to have some fun learning about medicine. Medicine? I hate taking medicine. Most people do. Do you know why? Probably because it doesn't taste very good. Exactly. In fact, Mary Poppins herself had a remedy for making medicine taste better. Do you remember a what- A spoonful of sugar. Oh, so you do remember. Yeah, a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in the most delightful way. Try telling that to your dentist. Good point. So, what does medicine have to do with a Bible lesson? Well, most people take medicine to make themselves feel better. But the Bible tells us there's another way to feel better. Anything that tastes better than cough syrup has got my attention. What is it? Well, let's take a look at today's Bible verse and find out. It comes from Proverbs 17.22, where it says, A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Wait, a cheerful heart is good medicine? Exactly. Better than, like, Pepto-Bismol? <laughs> well, real medicine has its place, but this verse is telling us that a cheerful heart can cure a lot of our problems. Wait, what about the part about dry bones? Well, that's talking about having a crushed spirit. You know, like when your sports team loses a close game, or maybe when you do poorly on a test, or maybe when your pet goldfish dies, or maybe- I think I get it. A crushed spirit is like having dry bones. In other words, we end up walking around like bummed out zombies. Oh, so you're talking about an attitude thing. Exactly. Some people are negative about everything. Other people see the bright side of life and have a cheerful outlook. In other words, every day is kind of like a... Jolly holiday? Indubitably. And that's good medicine for the heart. Let me demonstrate this for you with a little object lesson I like to call sugar califragilistic expialidocious. And all we're going to need is two tall glasses, four smaller glasses, some water, some food coloring, a syringe, a spoon, and some sugar. Now let's pretend that this tall glass filled with water is your life. If you're a negative person, when a storm hits, your life gets a little discolored, like this. That doesn't look too bad. No, but then another storm comes along. Hmm, not as clear. And then another challenge happens. And another. And everything gets jumbled together like this. Wow, what a mess. Yeah, but let's take a look at another way to do life with a cheerful heart. We'll take these four smaller cups and put one tablespoon of sugar in the first one, two tablespoons in the second, three in the third, and four in the fourth. Now let me add just a little water in each one. Then we'll stir them up really well like this and a drop of food coloring in each. Then we'll stir them up really well and put them all together. We'll use this eyedropper to fill up your life and see what it looks like. Of 
cool. It looks like a rainbow. Isn't it beautiful? It's practically perfect in every way, like me. Oh, brother. And so how we take care of our heart can determine our outlook in life. We can be fearful of the storm, or we can be hopeful of a rainbow. So how do we develop a cheerful heart? Great question. The best way is by getting into God's word, staying humble, and then looking for God's hand at work in everything. We can't control everything in life, but we can control our attitude. Even when I have to do things I don't like, like homework? In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. Mary Poppins couldn't have said it better herself. Remember, a cheerful heart's not just good medicine, it's a beautiful thing. So Sadie, what did you learn today? I learned that medicine is used to make people feel better, but the best medicine is a cheerful heart, which is something we all can control. Exactly. And the best way to develop a cheerful heart is to get into the wood, have a humble heart, and look for God's hand at work in everything. Very good. Now, I'm curious, what other tricks do you have in that little bag of yours? Uh, not much. Just some sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds? Yeah, I'm going to go feed the birds. Oh, have fun. We'll see you around.